burst battery and crash. That's right. So these batteries with these new connectors, they deliver more, 100%. Is that a good thing? It can be. Is that a bad thing? It can be that too. It just depends on uh, what you're looking for, how you're looking at it. So my very first battery, I was zipping around the house. I was crashing left and right. As you can see, there's just unnecessary crashing going on here. So I only looked, put up a few seconds of it so you can see the first flight. And then we're going to jump into the second battery, which was way more calm, way more tame, which is this one right here. I was a little more prepared, a little more ready. Knew not to uh, dive into this one full force like I did the last one. So cruising around the house, it, it did great. Uh, I didn't do nothing too extreme. I did try to do a flip somewhere in this video and failed at it. Mm -hmm. You know, it happens. So kind of just cruise around the house a little bit, watching the batteries, saggage, see what happens. Trying to see how much time I get on just a mellow rip around the house, you know? Nothing too special. I did notice it does stay at a 3.3 for a while, but when it drops, it drops fast. Kind of reminded me of a 6S. Like once you hit that 19, 20 volt mark and it just starts dropping really quick, you'll see it. same thing happens with these. I do think with a better battery, these would be great. But I don't think for the 300 Ma 1S batteries, at least these ones, not so much. There's that flip. And I think a lot of it had to do with, at this point, the battery was just kind of underpowered. Um, you will notice, though, when I crash an arm, it bounces back up to like 3.7. Then it just it drops back down real quick. I think we're getting towards the end of the battery here. Yeah, because we're getting towards the two minute mark. I got just slightly over two minutes of flight. And as you can see, this was very, very subtle flying. Not even full throttle. And right about here is where it's just done. Now, I do make some attempts to cheat, to kind of keep going and at this point, if I would have just stopped right here, the battery would have been all right. But I pushed it. I tried to keep it going, and the battery puffed already. So first flight, I had a puff, less than two and a half minutes. I don't think I'm going to be converting much over to these just yet. I would like to see how some other battery manufacturers deal with it and how their batteries handle it. But for the time being, I'll mess around with it a little bit tomorrow while I'm at work, but I'm probably just gonna switch back to my original JSD 2.0. As you can see, I'm gonna try one more time here, and it goes from 3.7 to 2.7 in like two seconds, and it's just done. All right, guys. Have a good one.